Yep. All right. All right. So uh, I hope this is going to be <laughs> a fun party this time around. Um, okay. So I will start with uh, a high level recap of the last session. Um, well, not the last session, mainly just the whole story. So uh, the party was hired by a dwarf named Gundren Rock Rockseeker to deliver merchandise from the small town of Folkrest to the village of Fandolin. Uh, Gundren set out ahead of the group on horse, along with a warrior escort named Ernest uh, Hallwinter. They claimed that they needed to arrive early to take care of business. Uh, on, on their way to Fandolin, uh, the adventurers learned that Gundren was ambushed by goblins from the Kragmoth tribe. So they set out um, to free their patron. The party ventured in the Kragmoth lair and slew many goblins finding and freeing a heavily injured Ernest from his captors. Unfortunately, Gundren was moved from that location to the Kragmaw castle a day prior. Now, the group decided to stop at Fandolin, deliver the merchandise, rest, and reassess their options. While exploring the village, the party met a few notable people, but also got into trouble with uh, the Red Brands, uh, a group of bullies and bandits that has been harassing the villagers and that are led by an individual named Redcoat. After a couple of deadly clashes, the party found the Rufian head hideout and decided to go after them. In the hideout, the adventurers dispatched multiple bandits and came across three prisoners, the Dendrar family, composed of Myrna and her two children, Nilsa and Nars. The group decided to help um, get them safely out of the den before continuing their missions. On their way out, the party was ambushed by single-eyed creeping monsters with terrible talons that was lurking in the shadow. After a dangerous battle, the adventurers were able to destroy the monsters. So this is where we're gonna be starting our session today. And uh, before we do that, let's roll a d20 to see, to get a feel of how this, uh, this game is gonna go. That was tough. Nice, 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 nice. We got a 20, we got a 5, 13, 2, and then 18. All right, so it looks like uh, the worst role is the Game Master. We'll see how, it's how this goes. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, never a good omen when I roll a 20 now. It's never a good omen. Oh, yeah, you best, you best, uh, no, you best beat me. Sorry, you best. You, have that nice. <laughs> you know that meme I sent you about rolling one, so you're, you're going to be an old champion here. I mean, if we, um, if, if we combine our roles, we are at 20, so maybe. <laughs> That's possible, yeah. You want to combine your brains too, or no? <laughs> okay, guys, really just a quick reminder from uh, my email. Just make sure when I ask you to make a test, when I ask you to make a test afterwards, I'll ask you what's your, uh, your score, okay? All right, cool. Okay, so back in character, uh, you can see the map, obviously. So let's go ahead. You just this. You, you were just able to kill the um, uh, monster that fell to the ground. <clears throat> so what do you do? Ah, oh, feel stronger. We need to escort the family out. Yeah, we need to find a way to to make them across. So. Uh, I'm gonna send Aya again to to um, scout around. Well, the only problem is is. She won't be able to tell us if there's a way across. Where do you wanna? Where do you wanna send her, send her to scout? I'd like to send her north. North. Okay. So you do your typical thing where she, you, you know, you whistle, and then you point, and uh, so Aya goes in. She goes um, north, and she goes to this tunnel right here. I don't know if you see it. I'm pinging. And she heads inside of the tunnel, and then. <clears throat> After a couple of seconds, she comes back uh, out of the tunnel, and you notice that she didn't make any sound. So it doesn't seem like there is there is anybody there, based on her scouting. So it's been more than an hour since the last time we established connection. No, no. So she could have talked to me, right? Yes. Okay. Well, she can still talk to you when she comes back. Yeah, but also like on the way if there is something. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, she is back. So she is back now. Do you want to talk to her? Yeah, so what did you find there? 
She says, oh, uh, so I headed there. It's a tunnel, and then there are stairs that go down. So I follow the stairs, but um, it gets to a, to a small little hole, and there are two doors, one on the right, uh, one north and one south. Okay. Uh, I communicate that with the team, uh, and, I say, and I say, okay, but before we carry on, either from where we came from or from that tunnel, we need to find a way to make that family cross. Anybody got an idea? Well, we can help them, uh, you know, carry them uh, around the rocks and uh, help them move across. Or maybe we there is no walk. passage around. Just so you know, there is no passage around uh, the the rocks. The only thing. Um, yeah, through them. That, that was. <clears throat> oh, you mean you mean you're gonna go down and up? Yeah, we go down and we help them across. So you know. It's ten it's meters cool. deep. Ah, it's ten so, meters. Know. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Shit. Oh yeah. Uh, I thought it was uh, less. And uh, maybe if you had like the quintess the quintessential item for adventuring, you know, a rope, <laughs> what is maybe that? it would have been possible. He means a rope. A rope. What is a rope? I can I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Faye, uh, what are you? Uh, what are your thoughts? We need to get them out of here, and we need to go finish this business. That's what we need to do. Um, I, I don't know what's north over there, but it looks like we cannot go around. I don't know that I want to expose them to whatever is in the crevice. And uh, if, if I recall correctly, there were uh, stairs inside uh, inside next to the pool that we didn't use. We don't know what where. It, I think it leads to the ruins, but uh, maybe we could uh, have them uh, go through there. They said they came down from there when they were brought in. Um, yeah. I suspect yeah. there will be more hostiles if we head that direction. Why well, we go there? We fuck them up, <laughs> and then we continue. You know, we open the way, a new way. I never thought I would say something like this, but I like where you're going with this. <laughs> Especially the part where we fuck them up. Yeah, it's always a good plan. Always. See an enemy, fuck them up. <laughs> We should protect them, though, and not yeah. put them in harm's way. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Uh, any, uh, are, do you, so do you guys agree? Is there any uh, any thoughts, any additional thoughts from the rest of the team? I'm like, uh, but before we carry on, maybe we should uh, take a second look at that uh, hidden treasure that I told you guys about. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Good point. Treasure, let's look at this and uh, see if there is something interesting. So it was like here in the X and yeah, and I... So, yeah. Well, I, I, can I move my character? It's okay? Yeah, yeah. When you're out of combat, yeah, and, and not just you, the team, if you want to move your characters, you're fine to do that. Game yeah, Master, I would like to come here and I would like to shuffle the, these guys behind me. I don't want them to be closer. Sure, sure. Just uh, move here. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, I guess so for now. Okay, uh, um, Okay. so Eile, do you want to do anything with your character or are you just staying there? I'm assuming you're muted. I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Are you keeping watch? Yeah. Okay. I'm with the family. Okay. Good. So you you are using your dark vision to look around and make sure that you're, there is nobody uh, coming out, c coming around. <coughs> Ivy, um, not Ivy. Aya gets on your shoulder. She lands on your shoulder, and she also starts looking and trying to find. Um, Something and then and then she moves fast and she catches a rat. She flies fast, catches a rat and starts eating. Okay, so the two of you, our two uh, <coughs> warriors, Garen and um, Sol, you get at the top of the crevice and you could see at the bottom the the chest. Now that uh, Sol is pointing at it, Garen, you're able to see it. Okay. Uh, I jump down slowly. Jump down. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I mean I, wait, 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 wait. I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> you know, you know, the, the, the appropriate term is I, I climb down, not I jump down. If you jump oh, down, yeah. I'm making you jump down, my friend. I'm, like, I'm a dwarf, so my jump is uh, really small, you know. <laughs> it's, a little it's still a 10 meter, it's still 10 meter crevice. Yeah, I, Even I if climb. it's small, you're falling 10 meters. So I, I, I shit my weapon. And I, uh, <laughs> and I climb down. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay, and so make me a uh, it's a an agility test against uh, twelve. So please uh, make an agility test against twelve. I'm gonna roll and tell me what your total is. Okay. 
Okay, uh, wait. Uh, where is my character? Okay. Where is it? Uh, you need a 24 or more. I have 29. Okay, so you're successful. You climb down and you're able to get uh, at the bottom. Uh, okay. You best do you, um, sorry, Sol, do you wait up, uh, up there or do you go down as well? Uh, I can just wait. I can just wait for now. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right, Galen. So, what do you do? You see, you see this wooden chest on the ground in front of you. Uh, does it have a kind of lock or something, or does it just open right? It, how? It's closed. I... It, 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 there doesn't seem to be any um, mm -hmm. uh, lock attached to it, but it's closed. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Does it look like magical or anything like that, or is it just a regular? Do you, you want to inspect it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see if I can Okay, you can there. use uh, analysis or intuition, or if you have another skill, we can use the other skill. The, I have blacksmith, have but uh, no. I have a runcraft, maybe. Uh, so something. you can try to look for runes, which means that if you're successful, and for example, I'm just giving you yeah. an example. Yeah. If there is if there is a trap and it's not made out of rune and you succeed your rune trap, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not telling you there is a trap. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Understandable. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can use your rune craft uh, to see if there is anything, um, any type of rune on the chest itself. Uh, make a D100 roll and there is no penalty. D100. And <clears throat> I think it's uh, successful, yeah. Okay, so you, you look at the chest, it looks, it looks very plain. There is nothing um, out of the okay. ordinary on this chest. There doesn't seem to be any, uh, any rune in it. All right. Well, I try to open it then. Okay, so you open the chest and you see inside it uh, there there is a little treasure in there. So you see about two hundred gold pieces. Oh boy! There are two potions, uh, two vials of healings. Mm -hmm. There is a scroll and a sword. Ah. Uh, can I use my blacksmithing to inspect the sword and see how? Do you want to touch it? Uh, just. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know if I, uh, as a blacksmith, I just want to have an idea of uh, the quality of the sword and the... Uh, and, uh, well, if you want to do that, that good inspection, you have to get the sword out with your hands and, and touch the metal, etc. Okay. Okay, so you do that. All right, that's fine. So you pull the sword, uh, do a blacksmithing uh, roll. Mm -hmm. uh, you do not have any disadvantage on uh, any, any penalty on that. Uh, it's uh, successful. I will okay. Do you have uh, common lore? Yes. Okay. Roll common lore, co common lore and add 10% to your... Uh, not 10%. Um, you have a bonus of 10%. So if, uh, let's say, I have 40 in common it's lore... It's 50. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, I miss. Okay. That's fine. So as you're inspecting <laughs> the, the weapon mm -hmm. and taking a look at it... Um, the sword you could see uh, at the hilt, uh, a name written in it, Teal, okay. T I E L. Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> mm -hmm. the the hilt is worked in the shape of a bird of prey with outspread wings. Mm -hmm. uh, the sword looks like quality, uh, a quality weapon, and it is magical. It is definitely magical. You could feel that it has. Um, that it, uh, that it is imbued with uh, magic power. Okay. Uh, so I tell uh, Saul, uh, hey Saul, I uh, found the scroll, uh, 200 pieces of gold, uh, two vials of health and uh, a sword that is, uh, well, I think you're going to like it if it's a two-hand uh, sword. Uh, thanks for you. It's definitely not a two-hand sword. For, ah, it's not for, a two-hand oh. Yeah, compared to his sword, it's not, it's not as ah. big as his sword. Okay. His sword is heavier. The sword that he's been slashing people with is okay. definitely bigger. And I found a one-handed uh, sword that uh, seems uh, magical to me. Uh, Very uh, good craft. Do you, need, do you need help carrying all of that? Uh, I think I can manage. And, uh, yes, you can. Okay. So, so uh, I, go, uh, I climb uh, up. Okay, I'm assuming before you climb yeah, up, yeah, you take the stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, you take the stuff on you, and then you climb back up. Because that would be funny if you climb back. Okay. So please go ahead and make a roll. Um, the climbing is not going to be as hard. It's going to be twelve. Uh, sorry, ten. Can I help him as well? In a way. Well, no, because you don't have a. Um, yeah. 
a rope or anything like that yeah. to help him. Uh, so how much is your total? Uh, it's more than uh, uh, my total. Uh, uh, Thirty. Okay. Uh, two. You're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure when you roll, don't just roll. Roll and do your calculation for one. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, for uh, the total, uh, you, you you have a total. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Galen is able to climb back up. Um, well, Galen, do you want to climb back up on this side or you want to climb back up on this side? I uh, climb back up uh, on the other side. Yeah. Where? Uh, where? The one uh, here. Here. Yeah, this one. Okay, gotcha. All right. So, and uh, I tell, so, uh, uh, yeah, I want to tell. Yeah, go uh, ahead, go ahead. Sol, uh, can you check the body of the monster that we killed? Maybe there is something interesting on him. We didn't check that. And I come back here. Yeah. So I do that if you ask me, Jim. Yeah, you inspect. You inspect his body. He doesn't have anything uh, noteworthy on him. Nothing. Okay, uh, so we are four. Uh, I'll say, yeah, I have 200 gold, so we, I can split 50 uh, each. And for the two vials of potion, I don't know if anyone needs some vials, uh, if they use them uh, in combat. Uh, for me, I have enough, so I can... I can not use it, so... I think... Is which? I think give, given our... Uh... Shitty state. <coughs> I would say Faye and I are in the most dire <laughs> need for those. Yeah. I so, mean, if, if you guys don't mind. <clears throat> so I give one uh, vial to Faye, another one to Ailey. Uh, to Ailey and, uh, no, Faye, right? No, no. Uh, to Sol, you mean. To, to, to Sol, sorry. Yeah. Ailey, uh, you okay with that? Ailey? Ailey, are you okay with that? Yeah. Sorry, okay. work is calling me. Ah, all right. Thank you. Okay, uh, so I give you one uh, yeah. each, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the sword. So I like, I'm like, uh, okay, uh, there is uh, the swords uh, found uh, on the body of uh, on the in the in the treasure chest. Uh, I'm not sure it's a good use for me. I'm more of a hammer guy, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, well, as you uh, as you're touching it and you've been inspecting it, you don't know what the the magical effect is, mm -hmm. as you have not really um... inspecting it uh, more precisely. Yeah. No, no, you have not used it yet. Oh, and you okay. haven't sat down to do yeah. any anything to try to get a feeling of what uh, what its power is. But um, the weapon. Okay, so hold on a second. Let can me see I, if I can. Can I inspect it? Can we do a magic? Can I do a magic lore on it? Okay, well, the group is a little. I mean, if we look at the map right now, I'm letting you guys do stuff, but like, yeah, we need to yeah. first gather. <laughs> you know, like yeah. Saul is at the other side. At least when you stop at a location, then we can do wh where all of you are together. We can do it. Yeah. Uh, so, wh what's the plan? Where are you guys gonna be heading? Uh, we go upstairs now from the. Okay, well then move, move your characters, up. and uh, Saul, ah. you'll have to climb down and climb back up, please. Yep. I'm, I'm assuming we don't have a rope, right? No, no. you don't have a rope. No. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let everybody else play before I do it, because I think Ivy and Faye haven't been playing. So. Well, yeah, they haven't been playing because, you know, Faye, uh, Faye is protecting the, the, the family and Ivy is covering for the family, so just move your characters. All right. Unless if they want to do something, you just stop me. So please go ahead and roll your um, yeah. first climbing all, for climbing them. Yeah, so it's a 12. I sheet my sword, first of all, because it doesn't sheet. Yeah. And then I uh, do... Ah, oof, it's... Uh, oof, oof. <laughs> I thought it was you, you pass. <laughs> okay, so you're successful. You easily climb down, and now you got to climb back up. Yeah. Uh, the difficulty factor on climbing up is a 10. It's easier. That's my total. Uh, you're successful. So you climb down, climb back up, and then go join the team. Guys, uh, move your characters up um, where you want to move them. <clears throat> uh, okay, so very good. You got, uh, uh, as you get in that room, there are two sets of stairs. Both of them go up, one to the north and one to the south. Yeah. Uh, uh, quick thing, Ahmed. Uh, the, now that I'm there, he gives me the vial, and I immediately drink it, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. Just drink it. Uh, Ulsama or Faye, 
your vial, do you drink it or do you put it in your in your pocket? What do you do that he just gave you? Um, I, it's a health vial. Yeah, I drink it. Okay, so the two of you drink it. Uh, please regenerate 20 HP each. Um, and that's it. Uh, 50 gold peats each. Guys, make sure to uh, update oh, yeah. that in your sheets. So now do you want to inspect uh, the sword before you go upstairs? What's, yeah. uh, what's your plan? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, uh, Faye can start first, I don't mind. Can I, yeah, can I do a magic lore? Uh, sure. Uh, you can roll magic lore, um, no disadvantage, just uh, no penalty, no nothing. Oh, yeah. How, how much do I not know about this sword? <laughs> well, look at the sword, and uh, for a second there, you're like, are you sure this is not a spear? Uh, dude, are you okay? I thought you knew about magic. Uh, you seem a little bit uh, confused about uh, this craftsman. So, so did I. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just go kill people. Uh, but uh, but uh, as you guys touch the sword and see, it, it has... Uh, so the sword deals seven physical damage and three magical damage. Oh, it's an interesting mm -hmm. sword. Actually. Yeah, so it's, it does ten damage, but it's seven physical and three magical. And it has something, some form of property, a magic property that you were not able to identify with your uh, magic. Uh, the scroll, uh, is anybody looking at the scroll? Can I, uh, uh, yeah, same. Can we do a magic lore on the scroll? Magic lore. Uh, yes, so for that scroll, or you get a bonus of 20%, so increase your total by, t not the, your, your current score by 20, and then roll the d20. For the magic lore, right? Yes. The d100, right? Not d20. Yes. Yes, it's a D100. So I'm successful. Okay, so you you don't... The problem with scrolls is once you finish reading them, the or you, you read the, the, the magic formula, it, it, it uses its power. But as you are going through the, the scroll and trying to see what it is, it's an identification scroll. So it's a, a type of scroll that when used on a specific object, it can um, tell you what its magic property or uh, magic powers are. Uh -huh. Now be careful. Mm, mm, mm. Don't just you know, just because you yeah, have a magic yeah. item, magic scroll, uh, maybe it's not the best thing to do. Doesn't mean just go and read it. Because it may be I guess what I'm trying to tell you, it may be that you find another item that has seven different powers and this one has only a power of a plus two magic damage, you know, like when you read the scroll on it. I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you as somebody who has seen uh, uh, identification scrolls before and used them, that they are important. Can, yeah. can I use it nice. on, on Galleon's head? Because it's clearly a magical weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's called uh, Goblin Slayer. You know, it has plus 10 uh, physical damage when hitting goblins. <laughs> um, Game Master, uh, I need to roll a d8 for my violent states. Why? Because I'm in violent state. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, please. Uh, roll a d8. You got a four. So, you know what that means? So, plus four on every uh, violent act in every violent action. Yeah, and, and minus, minus four for all four. mental checks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, I ask, I ask the, the three people that we have, uh, the Dendrar family, uh, if uh, they came from the left or the right side, if they, they, they remember from which way they came? They came from upstairs. Yeah, but uh, there are two stairs. Two, two so, sets of stairs, one to the north and one to the south. Yeah. And uh, so Mirna answers you and says, we came from the north. Okay. Uh, so I turn to the others. Uh, guys, uh, do you think we go uh, that way? Come back the, the way they came, or we try the southern? Uh... I think going. Yeah, I think going back the way they came from sounds the most logical one. But I'm okay with exploring as well. It's up to you guys. I say um, it's gotta be the night time. So let us try to be as stealthy as possible and avoid unnecessary uh, attention. Oh. 
I don't care which staircase we take. Okay. Uh, Ahmed, Ailey, is there anything you wanna you wanna say? No, hold on. Let me let me let me get also Ailey's opinion. Yes. I was just thinking in my head that if we go the way that they came, how likely is it that, that there's that we can guarantee there's going to be a fight? I look at you and I say, could we crack the door open, send your out? There's no door, just so you know. Right now, there is no door. It's stairs. Oh, no door. Oh, stairs. Yeah, so can we just get some scouting done by the bird? Yeah, oh, we can do that. We can ask I think maybe You guys, you're here. You, you, you're here. You're here. Uh, no, actually, no, forget about it. Because she doesn't understand the human language. That would have been funny. <coughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Maybe uh, maybe we can ask Dendrars uh, if uh, they they saw uh, when they came down. Maybe they 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 weren't uh, blindfolded, so maybe they they know uh, how many. People we were are not blindfo blindfolded when we came here, and yeah. when we came through the, uh, the upstairs, mm -hmm. uh, it's the room manner that we came through. Okay, and uh, well, was there a lot of people there, or? Uh... Mm. Uh, it was. I was very confused and worried about my safety and the safety of the kids. I didn't yeah. notice anything. Okay. Okay. What about the kid? Uh, I look at him. Do, do you do you, you seem to be like a very uh, vigilant person? Did you notice? Yeah. Anything? Yeah, I saw the guys that were carrying us, and I saw the walls, and I think I saw ghosts, and it was dark. And I, I was biting the guy who was holding me, and, and yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Well, I'd say go upstairs and uh, I mean send the owl, and uh, go upstairs and see what's going so, on. So I tried to communicate with Aya, and I'm like, uh, and and I, and I basically tell her the plan that we're trying to see. Will you be able? Will you be fine? Will you be able to <coughs> sure. Um, Aya looks at you, uh, Ailey. You are a mutant. I'm sending her up, right? Okay, so she, because she's not taking instructions from you, Bus. Of course. You know, so she she's looking at you. So you give her the sign to go. She flies upstairs. You know, disappears for a couple of minutes. No, no screeching, no sound. Then she comes back, and uh, she tells you, uh, Sol. She tells you, I didn't see anybody. Uh, once you come out. You are in the ruins, it's very quiet. I looked around, I scouted, I didn't spot anybody there. Okay, I relayed the message to the team. Well, it's good then. Yeah, let's go. So and then we explore the rest of the ruins where they are safe. Let's still be let's still be careful. She didn't see that other creature we just had to deal with. So let's just still be careful. Okay. So you head uh, upstairs, I'm assuming, right? Yep. Okay, so you head upstairs and you're back at, um, back here, within the manor. The manor is actually um, half, it's, it's ruins right now. It used, it probably used to be something, um, something very prestigious, but it's all, you know, fallen down. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really fallen down. Um, what used to be doors are now completely broken. The walls are half broken. Um, yeah, so that's where you come out. Do you want to make a perception check to scout, to look around and yes, see if there is anything around yeah. here? Game master, what time is it, please? It's about uh, uh, nine. Uh, it's about uh, nine forty-five p.m. Okay, so it's dark outside. Oh yeah, well yeah. Because you've been using the power of your uh, of your sword, so it's night. Yeah, I'll be tr I'll be doing a perception test to just look around and see if uh, if I can sense anything, any traps particularly or any. Are you looking or are you listening? Well, if you are trying to look to, to look for traps, you're looking. Okay, so you have dark vision, right? I do. Okay, so dark vision. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah. So ev uh, everybody who has dark vision roll with one disadvantage when you do that. The rest, if you are just looking around, uh, you you can't even roll. 
And, and is it, um, it's perception test, right? Yeah, it's perception. You just roll in two, roll two dice and pick in the lowest one, adding it to your total score. And I'm gonna roll as well. Minus 20. Thank you, Jess. All right, so you rolled a, a total 20 and Usama, what's your total? 15. Okay, so 15 and 20. You guys um, look around, you don't seem to spot anything out of the ordinary. It's a night. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay. I said uh, we should uh, take them to... Um, uh, to... Colleen, she Colleen. says. Colleen. Yeah. Oh, Colleen, sorry, that's right, but Colleen. Okay. So uh, okay. you uh, are you? Is that what is the team on board? Yeah. All right. So you head out from the manor and you go down the hill. Uh, you get closer to the rest of the village, and now you see more torches. As you get in the in, in the village, there are more torches there to have some form of light, and then you get to Quilleen's, um home. As uh, as you arrive there, Mirna turns to you and tells you, "Thank you, thank you, my lords. I, I, my, my lords and ladies, I, I really appreciate all the help you have provided us. Um, you can take your leave and, and and finish what you were doing, but please, uh, when you are done, e e either come come back to see me or I'll try to find you. Where uh, where would you be at? Oh, we we can come back here. I think it's on the way. Uh, okay, it's... please." You can stop here if you, um, once you're done. Yeah, fine. Are we... Well, dear, thank you. Don't forget to stay to later. Of course, of yeah. course. Go ahead. Thank Andy. you very much. The kids, the kids also thank you guys uh, for uh, all your help. And then uh, she heads out and waves at you as she heads out uh, to knock on the door of Quilin. Uh, um, you guys gain five XP each. And Osama, you gain um, two points in the balance that move you towards, you know, like the center. Okay. What do you do? We come back it's about 10 p.m. right now. We go back to the rooms. I think oh, we have yeah. a lot of things to explore yet. I don't think it's a good idea, really, though. The, I mean, I, I want to explore, but I think they're, we probably alerted somebody. I mean, we just took their prisoners and... Yeah, but they were dead, so if they didn't check, and uh, if we wait too much, they will check the the prisons. But uh, since it's the late at night, maybe they are sleeping, and uh, they are not really checking downstairs. Yeah. I so I guess uh, if we wait uh, until morning to come back, that for sure they will be alerted. But right now we have a chance to come back and uh, still take them by surprise if they are there. I agree with Gallien. Plus, we have uh, another advantage. We have two about, elves uh, that can see in the dark. What about Faye? What do you think? Um, let's do it. Let's go back. Okay. So, we got three people who are saying to go back. Um, Haile, is there anything you want to add, or are you... No, I'm I'm good. I just I'll go with I'll stay with the group. I just um want to maybe use the energy from my bow. Sure. Uh, please make your roll and add the points to your EP. So, as you do that for the rest of the team, are you planning to go from um, the ruins from upstairs, or are you trying to go from the tunnel? In the in the briars. It's mm, a good one. I would say we come back from the ruins. Okay. No? Well, well, the, the 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 area that we still have to explore is on the left side, the, the tunnel side of the crest. Ah, yeah. And we just came from the ruin. Yeah, you're I right. I think to to quench uh, Ali's concerns, if if there is any sort of alert, it would be good to revisit that tunnel and see if anything has changed on the way. Yeah. Correct. Would that, would that work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It seems that the whole team is on board. Um, movement position, just so I understand who's uh, up front, who's uh, at the back, who's at the middle, or, you know, are you just all moving randomly? How are you moving? Um, um, I propose to be up front. 
Yeah, me okay. Too. I, I have people I, from. I look at Eileen and I say, "Would you mind leading the way? You have the best vision of all." Oh, and uh, I, I use a health vial. Okay, my please backpack. go ahead. Um, uh, from the pocket or from the backpack? Backpack. Okay, sounds good. Uh, please do that. So it's going to be Eileen first, followed by. Um, so all and guardians oh, who's taking the left who's taking the right i'm i take left oh, right. so taking left uh guardian taking right uh usama or fey you're you're closing you're the last yeah. guy at the back yeah. all right yeah. and yeah i'm gonna push you in the middle so it's like a diamond formation okay so you guys head out and go back to inside the briar and the woods and you get back to the location where there was um where you previously saw the tunnel it doesn't seem like it was disturbed or anything like that. Usama, make a tracking uh, roll. It's at night. You don't have any bonus or penalty, but you, because you have dark vision, if you ha if you if you didn't have dark vision, you'd have a penalty. Okay. So it's a D hundred. So successful. Okay, wonderful. So you look at the ground. You try to spot if there are any tracks, any new marks. Um, you didn't see any. These seem like your party's tracks. Okay, and I, I communicate, I, I look at the, I communicate that, ah, I communicate that to the group based on my assessment of the ground. It doesn't seem like there's been more passage through here since we last came by. Okay, well, wonderful. Uh, continue. Great. So you guys get inside. Um, you take the, the same tunnel that you took when you came there. Oh, I forgot. Um, Jessica, I should probably have asked you to do the tracking since you were the first one in there. I just forgot yeah. that you had tracking. My bad. Next time I'll remember that. So you head in um, and then you're back to, let me move you back. You're back at the hideouts. And this time, let me just take these out. Then I'm gonna... Highly. All right, here's the team. You guys are back. What do you do? I'm going to cast camouflage. Okay, please uh, take the EP and uh, let's roll for camouflage. And the difficulty factor is going to be an 8. So 8 plus 18, that's 26. Is that a 22? Uh, uh, this one, this time you, it, it, sorry. Yeah, this time it didn't work, Jess. You're trying to... Um, be careful and be watchful, but sh you guys are noticing she's making sound as she's she's moving. She's not as uh, accurate. Uh, you're not going to be able to re-roll it again, uh, you know, like for now, just because you think that sh you are actually stealthy, but you are being a little clumsy. Okay. Anything else? Or do you want to head somewhere? What's the plan? Uh, I just tell uh, I just tell Ailey, uh, Ailey, uh Okay, now that we have a bit of light, uh, you can, you know, like, like you don't have to be at the front line. Sure, because there are torches, a couple of torches here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm, feeling you... a little, I'm feeling a little rattled, so I'm fine if you want to if you want to that. Oh well, well uh, uh, do I actually see her despite being clumsy? Yeah, you can see her. Okay, so I yeah, well, and and even then, like when she uses this ability, she doesn't become invisible. She just hides better, yeah, and doesn't make a lot of sound. All right, she watches her movement, you know, sticks to the wall, uh, etc. Okay. It's not an ability that makes you invisible. Okay, so I just tell her to that that she doesn't need to be at the front line. Uh, do you want to swap places? Sure, I just would like to try to because you know try to keep an eye out for traps or or anything so it's up to you i i'm fine either way oh, okay if you're comfortable with this you can stay i'm just i'm just looking out for you so. okay thank you all right so uh, uh any any other comments what's the plan again where are you going okay uh 
So you're going to be heading towards here, I'm assuming? Well, yeah. Okay, so you move carefully and it's a stair, a set of stairs that go down and you uh, follow the stairs. Jessica, you can move your character even more. Yeah, so as, as you get there, um, Can I move so? Sure. Uh, as you get there, Jess, uh, at the bottom of the stairs, there is a little hallway, and um, you get to the end of the hallway. The hall extends to uh, further north. No, hold on, hold on. Just stay where you are. Let me let me finish the conversation. The, it it um, extends to the north, and to the south, where you are, there is there is a door, and to the north, uh, there is another door. Now, uh, please make a perception test versus 13. Jessica. What's it? Nice. 29. Okay. Nice. So as you get uh, as you get there, you carefully you are carefully moving, keeping watch, etc. And you and you get to that position, you start uh, hearing gruff voices uh, issuing demeaning commands uh, coming from the south from the door uh where where you're by and you hear stuff like lick the floor <laughs> roll like a dog <laughs> i said roll like a dog yeah <laughs> I'm going to move carefully back to <laughs> I got to move carefully back towards Soul and I'm going to whisper to the group what I'm hearing that I'm hearing this. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I whisper it's, to the group. Oh, I think there might be uh torturing someone. Yeah. Maybe Arbrick. I hope it's not Arbrick, but you know I might need to check that. Yeah. I uh, have a plan. We bust the door open and we smash them. That's a good plan. That's a, that's the best plan I've heard. <laughs> uh, anybody yeah. else have uh, an opinion or or, or want to add to that or argue or whatever? I, 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 can you can you peep through the, the keyhole? Can you can you look inside? I'm gonna move over here and try to to carefully peek through the the keyboard. Okay. Make a, a stealth test. You have a bonus, uh, an advantage. And then I'm gonna make. Uh, well, I'm gonna make what I'm gonna make. Let's see what that is. Uh, okay. Wonderful. All right. So. Twenty six. Okay, so you get uh, in front of the door and you peek through the keyhole. And as you peek through the keyhole, you see this very large uh, person standing like right in front of you. Uh, he's a human. He's about about your size, actually. He's pretty large, really big, big individual, uh, wearing pants. Um, carrying a large wooden club he's bald and has a few scars on his face you know he's issuing orders towards um the west he's looking towards the western side so you see what i mean what the west is right from your angle so he's looking towards the west and issuing order to somebody you don't you can't see who the other somebody is but as you got on there to look you pushed the door a little bit and it made a sound it made like hey sound and you see him he stops and he looks towards the door go ahead shit shit i, I heard the move i am gonna just try to carefully move back over here and whisper i think i saw pinky and i think he heard me um we might we we, we can't fight in the hallway 
that whatever now we need to do something we can't i can't we can't fight here uh yeah. game master can i squeeze mm -hmm. past her or is that not possible no like 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 now the, the situation where you're in you can i can it's it's harder when you are so if she was engaged with somebody in combat here yeah. that's why it's harder because they are not letting her like exactly. they're not letting you guys do that they're okay. gonna they're gonna block it but when there is nobody you can do it okay i look at the team and i say i'm going in and i step in okay. uh, for... uh, and i unsheet if you don't mind and i unsheet too <laughs> Uh, okay, sounds uh, sounds good. <laughs> Osama, <laughs> yeah, hey, you can move your character. You can move your character if you'd like to before I uh, open. Okay, so as you say that, you rush in, open the door, and when you open the door, it's a barrack that contains four rough, roughly built wooden bunks with heaped up blankets and dirty dishes scattered around. Uh, there are three humans that are lo lounging among the mess, and they are barking orders. Two of them are barking orders at a sad little goblins to the western um, in the western wall, um, and they, they they look like they they are having a good time, you know, making fun of, of that goblin. Uh, as I told you earlier, one of the humans is a meaning 190 uh, meter 95 or six feet four tall. Large individual carrying a large wooden club. He's bald and has a few scars on his face. Uh, he's half naked, only wearing a pants, boots, and a belt. So as you suddenly barge in, the goblin looks at you and he says, <laughs> and falls. <laughs> he, is, uh, he falls unconscious. And then as, as you get in, you're pretty much in melee combat. Uh, uh, you best with, uh, with the dude. The, the, the large person now, because he succeeded in his stealth test, you do not get a bonus um, round of surprise because he, he his attention was uh, toward uh, focused on the door. So we're gonna go ahead and roll for initiative, everybody. There we go. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. I got a sixteen. Yeah, I have it. Uh, thank you, Jess, for telling me. But um, for this one, I just put them in the... Um, it goes automatically in the macro. But I appreciate you being on top of it and telling me. All right. So I got uh, everybody on there. And then let's look at this. I will need one of you guys to volunteer to be the... Um, the round count. Yeah, the round count. Who would yeah, like to take round? You'll do that, Galleon? Okay. Yeah. So the round count starts with the with this red brand thugs and ends with ends with this red brand thugs. Okay? All right. Wonderful. All right, so we are in combat. The red brand thug is this individual right here. Do, um, we, do we roll between the two because we're on egality or not? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um you best just roll uh again. But but don't use the, um, the initiative. The just roll okay. D twenty. Yeah, just roll yeah. D twenty. Just the sequence list. the stats so that I don't waste your time. Sure. Uh, initiative uh, fourteen. Okay, so one D twenty. Oh, okay, seventeen, twelve. Oof. Okay, he wins. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so it's it's in the correct order. Yes. Uh, right. Wonderful. So he starts first. And as he sees you barging in, he screams. He screams to to um, uh, the the large individual. He says, uh, "Pinky, they are there! Hit them!" And Pinky raises his club. And let's see. So Pinky is gonna make two rolls against you. I'm assuming you're gonna you're gonna try to parry, right? Yes. Okay. So do I have Pinky? Yes, I do. So he's a red brand. Okay. So I'm gonna make two rolls. Oh, well, oh, great. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the one and the three. Okay, so it's a one. Pretty much uh, you got to do anything other than a one. Great. Good for you. So you're able to avoid his hit. It's funny because uh, you would have been in equality, uh, equal to each yeah. other. If it was The rule of the one was not uh, in there. Okay, so he raises his club, smashes it. You are able to block it. You block it, but you can feel the weight of his strength. Like it pushes you a little down, but you're able to stop to stop his hit. Uh, so that was that action. Now he also 
moves here to be in medic combat with you, and then he tries to strike at you with his sword. So he's going to have a plus one bonus, and that's his total score. Actually, it's plus one, so it's 32. You get hit, you best. Okay. And he deals, let me see here. Yeah, here they are. And I rolled how much did I roll? 31 plus one, which is 32. No, 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 I'm, I'm looking at the roll itself. I rolled 16. Okay, so th there is no um, superior damage bonus or anything like that. You take you take eight, uh, eight physical damage. Okay. Make sure to take out the durability. That ends his turn. And it's now your turn, so what do you do? Okay, so I move to the side over here. And I attacked what I now know is Pinky. Uh, right? Okay, sure. Yeah. So you you strike, and he's gonna try to parry with his club. What's your total? Uh, that's thirty. It's already there. No, you best. I, oh, I yeah, specifically yeah, yeah. asked yeah. Okay. for My people to tell me what's the total. Yes. So he blocks you. He has thirty-one. He has a bonus of plus one. So again, you. You go with your sword, he blocks it. He could feel the power. He says, oh, you're not bad, you. Yeah. Uh, can I go with Seasoned Fighter? Yeah, of course. Yeah, on, on this guy. He's going to try to dodge. Uh, my total is 21. Okay, he tries to dodge and he's at 24. So he avoids your hit. All right, All right next in line is this other red brand. So the other red brand, um, he moves here. He orders Pinky to attack. He says, Pinky, in the head! And Pinky's like, okay! And then he goes with his big um, sword. So I'm going to, again, roll twice against you. Here's once, and here's twice. So my total is... 30. Uh, so, 31. My total is 36. Wonderful. So, he tries to strike at you. You're able to block him uh, with your sword. You scratch it with your sword, deflecting the hit. You turn around the uh, as the red brand who just orders is trying to stab you. Go. Oh, not this guy. This red brand. Okay. He rolls and he has a total of 21. My total is 25. Paf, you deflect that hit too, entering in, you know, like getting all this attention. Wonderful. Next in the line is Faye. Um, in case, in, you, you can hear me, okay. Uh, in case it wasn't clear, I unsheathed, I moved here. Oh, 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 wonderful. You best, you never said you were, you were uh, unsheathing. Yeah, I did. Well, I did. Yeah, you did. I did. I did. did. You, okay. Yeah. You both yeah. Right. yeah. Um, I move here. Did you see the monster? Yeah, sure. I can, right? It's a, it's an area that I can be in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can move there. Um, I um. I do bloody whirlwind on Pinky. Oh sure, yeah. Please go ahead and. Um, Take out your EPs. And, um, yeah. uh, I don't have it there. Okay. Uh, are you are you done? taking out your EPs and just making sure that you know what it's going to be doing so that I don't ask you through the game what is it supposed to do? Yeah, I roll, uh, my total is um, 35 plus, hold on, 35 plus 1 plus 2. Why is it 35? 30. Sorry, why, why is it 35? So 19 and 16, right? I roll with an advantage. Oh, I see. I see. I don't know why you... Okay, so it's 35 plus what? Plus two. He attacks... Um, he got attacked by Soul, and there's one ally in the vicinity, so that's plus one for backstabber sure. and plus one for 
So sure. 37 is the total. Okay, so he's going to try to parry. Um, Pinky is going to try to parry, and what? he has a 28. So he's unsuccessful. Uh, how much damage does he take? 30. Okay, 30 plus uh, what's the effect? What do we need to roll for the effect? So for the effect, I, I need to test my agility versus either strength, agility, or endurance of target. Okay, so it's going to be against my strength. Um, and then let's roll and tell me what your total is. So bam, under 10 plus, okay. What's your total? 31. Okay, cool. So it works. Uh, so you hit him with 30 damage and uh, you inflict him. You have the, the effect also active on him. Okay. And I need to, so I, so if, um, if successful, I need to um, roll a plus uh, a d6 for my next melee attack. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so you want to describe it to uh, the team, what you do? Sure. Um, so I um, I just slash frantically at this big mass, this big body that's bare naked and looks like it's just full of fat and my my knight blade actually, you know, slices through it pretty, pretty easy. It's, it's like cutting butter and again and again and again and again. And um, you can see that I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, it's making me feel good. It is. And I feel pumped up about what I just did. I, you know, I, once I stop, I'm like all energized. So it's just different from what he did with Clark when we noticed this. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same thing. But I'm oh, just asking okay. to describe, yeah. you know, like here when you're using your, your abilities. Okay. So he did that. He he hits it. There's blood coming out of um, p uh, little Pinky from his injuries, and he's like, oh, oh, oh. and as he finishes the hit, little Pinky is still standing, and he's like, "You're a scary one, aren't you?" Okay. So it's little Pinky's turn. And as you finish that, he grabs his, um, uh, uh, what, what is it called? His, club. His club and screams first. He's like, but I'm going to smash you. Oh, okay, so um, what? um, can I, well, I, I guess it's too late now. I should have said before. It's fine. You should. You should make sure that you do it so uh he is doing this uh intimidating roar uh, let me see so he is gonna lose uh, how much is it yeah so, so lose this in ep uh and then i'm gonna so let me see who's the furthest away the furthest away is jessica and you're one two you're six meters yeah, I impacted too. Okay, so everybody, uh, please make a courage roll and tell me what your total is, okay? Usama, courage is mental. Mm -hmm. I don't have any... Um, I'm actually... I wasn't... Bound. I don't have any bonus. Okay, good. If you don't have any bonus or penalty, I just wanted to make sure oh. that you... Who's the boss? Who's the boss? <laughs> oh! I missed the boss with me. <laughs> Oh my god. With the boss? What did it say? <laughs> With the boss. <laughs> yeah, well, then I need to know what your total is. My total uh, yeah, is 17. Uh, okay, uh, so, sorry, one second. Yeah, Usama, what's your total? 17. Okay, no 20 and no 1, right? No. You best. My total is 20, no 1, no 20. Okay, uh, Jessica. 34, no 1, no 20. And Guardian? 35. Okay, so you two are inflicted by it. And because I rolled a <laughs> one, it's even worse. It's Wait, even, well, uh, the, 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 me and Galleon? Me and Galleon, who said? Sorry, what? Who, who's inflicted by it? 
Everybody. No, no, everybody's inflicted by it. Oh, okay. But the alien is not inflicted by critical because he rolled a 20. He's inflicted, but not a critical. Okay, so the description is, as he screams and he says that, um, you guys start shaking. You're, you're feeling like, especially you, uh, Usami, just use your ulti, your, your ace in the hole, and you didn't feel like the, the enemy is falling down. So uh, you're being intimidated. You're questioning whether you should have started this fight with uh, little pinky you have disadvantage on offensive actions against him so normally it would have been for the next two offensive actions because he rolled a 20 for the next four offensive actions so all of you have um disadvantage against him for the next offensive actions except galleon it's just the next two offensive actions okay. understood Okay, so that was his bonus action. And now let's finish someone. <clears throat> so who is it going to be? Um, well, it's probably going to be Faye. Uh, let's see. Let me... Actually, I'm going to roll a d20 and determine. If it's uh, 1 to 10, it's Faye. If it's above 10, it's... Uh, uh, well, you know what? No. He moved here. So no more people coming in. And... Uh, now he's boy. gonna do <laughs> he's gonna do a third. So one to um one to seven or something. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna do split it in two because you know I feel like I can control the the dwarf. So one to ten, as I said, is Usama. And I rolled a five. That's gonna be Faye. And he's gonna slam Faye with his um weapon. And he Rolls a total of 20. Uh, Usama, uh, I'm assuming you're gonna try to dodge. dodge. I'm gonna try to dodge. Um, and um, it, it's only when we attack that we have this advantage, right? Yes, on okay. offensive action, they say. Okay, yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure. Um, I'm at 26. Okay, wonderful. So he gets in, smash, smashes with his club. You dodge it, it hits the wall. Um, and that's the end of his turn. Highly irregard. I think you're muted. So how is he looking? And then he, I mean, we're scared, so we think he's looking good. Um, he he has these injuries on his body that he that uh, Faye just inflicted on him, and they are bleeding. But he doesn't look like he's fallen to the ground at all. Um, that, that's part of why you're intimidated. He has taken these very damaging um, hits, and yet he's still standing there. Is um, Hunter's Mark considered an offensive action? It is. Yes. Okay. Um. But you can you don't have to do it with disadvantage uh, due to the line of sight. You could do it with one disadvantage, pretty much. Because if you were shooting, you'll have two disadvantages because Galleon is on your way. So I mean, I'm definitely going to drink an energy potion. Jim, do I have a question? I have a question. Since I'm really small and the guy is really tall, there is there? Uh, yeah, a actually, actually, that's that's a good point. So, just if you shoot with your arrow, because it's a guardian and because he is a short guy, you wouldn't have a penalty. Yeah. I wouldn't have a penalty. Because at the same time, I was going to ask you a question about uh, headbutts. <laughs> if I want to headbutt the guy, do I need to jump? <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get to that. So, so you don't have a uh, disadvantage to aiming, but you have disadvantage to to the roll due to the roll. Do you see what I mean? So I'll I'll take a shot at him then. Okay, sounds good. Uh, are, are you gonna do a shot or snipe shot or what are you doing? I'm just gonna do. Well, I, I'm shaking in my boots, so I'm gonna do a just a regular shot with a regular arrow. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so you're gonna be shooting with uh, one disadvantage, and because you are shooting at him, he's gonna try to he's gonna try to parry. Yes, that's what he's gonna try to do. So it's been one, two. You get a bonus of two points to your roll. Okay, and then I'm gonna be rolling these two. It's uh, that one plus this. What's your total, Jess? Nineteen. Yeah, you added a plus two to that. Uh oh no, twenty-one. 
21. Okay, so you rolled a 21, and I rolled a, a 5. Oh, yeah, he blocks it. Well, so you shoot him with an arrow, and he blocks it with his club. Uh, roll for the arrow to see if... Okay, it's not broken. Good for you. Do you want to do anything else? That was your action. Um, did I did I say that I drank an energy potion? Uh, I don't remember you telling me that, but you can do that as a bonus action. Okay, I'm I'm drinking an energy potion. Okay, sounds good. And you're not moving; you're staying there. Yeah. Great. Uh, next in the line is. Sorry, wrong. Got in white hammer. Your turn. Okay, so my question was: uh, if I want to hard hand. Hard. Yeah, you can hold it. You can hold yeah, it. Yeah, without disadvantage because he's tall and I'm small. No, no, you only have your disadvantage due to the fact that yeah. uh, you're inf inflicted by his uh, thing. Right. That's it. Uh, okay, so, so I do that. Let's, uh, let's then try that. And he's going to try to spare you. Okay. So it's the 14. Oh, wait. 14 plus. Uh, While he's calculating, uh, did Jessica uh, count uh, plus two, by the way, when, when she was doing her roll? It's 32. I asked her to count the plus two, so I don't care if she didn't. And, I, already, uh, no, I already asked. Like, I can't, I can't babysit everybody, so I, I already said that. It's uh, 35 because he was attacked uh, by three people. Sure. Uh, plus three. Three people, actually. He got attacked by uh, three people. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So that works. Uh, how much damage do you deal? I deal 17, uh, yeah, 17, right? Is it a strength or is it at melee attack? Let me check. Yeah, yeah check, yes, check I... this stuff Alien, beforehand. So, yeah, yeah, because I... we want to keep this moving, not, you know, 17. like, yeah. Okay. 17, 17 damage. I okay. need to roll my strength against uh, either strength or endurance of the target. Okay, I'll roll against uh, my strength. Do I have to roll twice again for this one or is it just once for this uh, test? You have to roll twice. It's offensive actions. This is considered as part of your off offensive actions. I rolled a two, you know. 14. So you're, I, I think you're successful. What's yeah. your total? Uh, <clears throat> it's the uh, same uh, 32. Okay, you're successful. So you hit, you you, you run at him, you know, uh, he, he's pretty tall. You jump, put a uh, one of your feet on, your, on his um, uh, knees, and then get enough space to jump even higher catch his face as he's looking at you he's like what <laughs> are you doing and <laughs> you headbutt him pretty hard uh there's a little spray of blood that comes out of his nose so what's the effect uh he has a disadvantage until the end of turn okay so he has on what on just total uh, yeah. It says just uh, the target has disadvantage until the end of its turn. Okay, sounds good. So then he has disadvantage until the end of uh, of his turn. Uh, is there anything else you want or could do? Uh, no, it's fine. I'm good. <clears throat> okay, so let's move to the next uh, person. So that's the end of the first round. Yeah, round two. Round two, fight. And on round two, um, okay, so hold on here a second. Uh, this guy got attacked one, two, three, four, okay. So at the start of the round, the, yeah, the, the red brand tries to attack Sol. The red brown thug tries to attack you. My total is 21. Total is 21. His total is 25. So he slashes at you and deals 8 damage. And for his... Uh, well, what he also do is he moves this way. And for his bonus action, he, um, he orders Pinky to attack um, 
to attack Faye. He, they, he says, Pinky, kill her. She's just a woman. And Pinky goes like, all right. And then he uh, throws his, well, not throws, but like he uh, tries to bash Faye. So I got one disadvantage from you, right? Is that is that what I have now? I have one disadvantage due to Guardian's headbutt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. I have one disadvantage due to your headbutt, and because this is rolled at disadvantage, he has two disadvantages when he rolls. So one, two, and three. I gotta pick the lowest of the three rolls I did, and the lowest is Those rolls twenty-two are... plus one, so that's twenty-three. Osama, what's your total? Twenty-seven. Okay, so you, you avoid it. Uh, you know, he tries to bash you, but he's still holding his head and he misses you. Uh, so that's the turn of that red brand, and it's your turn, uh, Sol. All right, I first try to attack this um, uh, this red brand. That I'm oh, okay. Of. You're going for that one. Yep. Uh, sounds good. He's going to try to dodge you. My total is 37. Oh, that's... That's that's pretty good. Okay, so he has 31. You swing with your sword. You hit him. You deal 15 damage minus his armor, uh, which is... Okay, so you deal this amount of damage. It took a big hit on his, on his body, but he is still alive. He has survived your hit. Uh, uh, and I tried Season Fighter on the second guy, on the second Okay, round. please go ahead and roll with a disadvantage, and he's going to try to dodge. My total is 27. Okay, so, and I rolled a 33. So, you hit the first one with a sword, you slash towards the second one, and he barely dodged dodge it. Good try, that's the end of your turn, unless if you want to drink potions or anything like that. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, wonderful. Wait. Where is it? Oh, I moved it. There you go. All right. Turn order is that red brand's turn. Uh, the first one, the one that uh, that you hit, I believe. He's gonna try to. Um, yeah, he's gonna try to slash at you, you best. And he has a plus one. My dot list twenty nine. So I am at uh, 34 plus 1, 35 plus 1, 36. Okay, so he, he, he hits you, it's 8 damage. And then he orders Pinky again to get rid of the, of the she-elf. So Pinky, as a result, he tries to smash. So 1, 2, 3. Three disadvantages is a bitch. So it's 25 plus one, that's 26. My total is 23. Okay, so he raises his club, goes at you. You've been dodging these, you've been dodging these, and you're like, wow, that, that thing is going to hurt once it hits. And you try to dodge it, but it's this time is a little faster. It hits you on the chest. You know, get it. Fortunately, it didn't, it didn't touch your wondrous boobs, <laughs> but, it, but it hits you, and you take 15 physical damage. Okay, 15. Yeah, make sure to take out durability and protection and all that stuff before you take the physical damage on your body. So it hits you. It didn't kill you or anything, but like uh, he's hitting harder than anybody else uh, in here with, uh, with uh, these ruffians. Okay. That is the end of that Red Brand's turn. And it's your turn, Faye. You have a penalty due to uh, using your ulti. I do, I know. Okay. And uh, please go ahead, do whatever you want to do. Um, so this guy just hit me, right? Uh, real hard. Yes. He has this advantage until the end of the turn, right? Yes. No, until the end of its turn. Uh, you know, like, and, and, you know, like, you're not supposed to know that. But, yeah, he has disadvantage until the end of his turn. And you have two, uh, you have disadvantage against him for your next four actions. Yeah, so how does, um, how does the, 
a question for Game Master. I want to do my ulti again on him. I have no, your ult is on cooldown. The ult is oh, on okay. cooldown for turn. Okay. Um, so that's right. That's right. Thank you. So I'm just going to. Um, I'm going to attack him with um, the the chilling bites. Okay, you're gonna attack him with your chilling bite. That's what you want to do. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna be rolling at a with a disadvantage. Oh well, it would be hard to do less than three. So. What uh, one would be harder? So j still roll just so you're sure you can. You are done with your thing. And he's got attacked one one time, right? And there are two allies. Yes. No, he didn't get attacked one time this round because you best didn't attack him. You best attacked uh, the the thugs. Oh, okay. So my total is twenty. Uh, okay. Once so the, he's once the pluses and minuses wash out, it's 20. All right, so you try your bite, but he raises his um, uh, club and you get confused and you actually use it on his club rather than him. You know, he was all able to, uh, to block it with his club. And that's uh, the, well, unless if you want to do a bonus action or do a movement. Yes, I want to um, use my um, dashing. I want to dash away, escape, um, which is called disengaging slide. Um, so I need to do my agility against the initiative of Pinky. Oh. Okay, so please roll your um, roll uh, your agility, and that one is not at a disadvantage. Uh, and he is rolling with a disadvantage because he um, is inflicted by the headbutt effect. So it's a two. What's your total? Uh, hold on one second. I'm looking for it. Uh... Nineteen. You're successful. You're successful. I rolled a two. Because I rolled with disadvantage, so you can you you are using your bonus action to disengage. And now, where are you sliding? I'm checking if there is any limitation. Hold on to the distance inside the way. No, no it's your movement. It's pretty much your movement. I move here. All right. So you slide away, jump over the bed, and you get there. Okay. Wonderful. So that's the end of your turn. And next in the line is Pinky. So Pinky um, is like upset uh, after getting hit by uh, Galleon. It's a big hit in the face. So he tries to smash Galleon then in this case. He's gonna try to smash Galleon. <coughs> so I, he's gonna roll with two disadvantage, with one disadvantage, sorry. So roll twice and pick the lowest, which is a 23. Now, um, no, 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 not a 20. Well, a 23 plus one due to the red brands that are given their aura. So it's 24. Galleon, what's your total? 28. All right, wonderful. So he tries to smash you with his uh, club and you're able to block it. Yeah. And avoid getting getting hit. Wonderful. So, what else is he going to do? I think that's uh, that's pretty much. Uh, well, is that pretty much it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Next in the line is Eileen. Just to just to make sure, Jan. Um, so I'm still crafting with disadvantage on offensive, and then is it? Am I still getting plus two from Galleon, or is that over? Uh, you're not getting plus two from Galleon. You were getting plus two because Ubas and, uh, and right. Faye attacked him. Okay. You know, before. So right now, only Faye attacked him. So you have a plus one. And you're still rolling with a disadvantage, and you have to do that for uh, the no. next uh, three, three, three rolls, including this one. Okay. Um, I want to cast Hunter's Mark as a, a, as a bonus action. Sure. 
um, what, so what do you test for that one? What's it's the, my perception against Pinky's, I, I'm sorry, I meant pink, on Pinky, on Pinky's stealth. Okay, so you can roll with a disadvantage, and he's going to roll too with a disadvantage because of the headbutt. So, um, so you said against my stealth, right, for Pinky. So I rolled two yeah. dice, and I picked the lowest. Oh, you can stop there. Oh, yeah, I guess I rolled a one. So unless you roll a one, Jess, with your disadvantage. I didn't. What's that? I said I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? Okay, good. So um, Eileen looks at him, and then she says, she screams to the team, guys, go for the legs, go, the, go, go for his legs. He, he's too big. If you hit his legs, it's going to hurt. So whoever hits him, um, just what's the effect? The effect is two extra piercing damage for three hits or 30 minutes, whichever comes first. Okay, so the next time he gets hit, uh, your damage is increased by two piercing damage for the next three times. Uh, Jessica, please count the three times. The next three times he gets hit just on a piece of paper. Okay. Just once he, it hits three, we're good. Because I, uh, I, I can't count all these effects that are being thrown by everybody. No all right, cool. Uh, so that's your bonus action. That's well, my bonus what action. else do you want to do? I'm just going to shoot him again with another with another arrow. Regular arrow? Yep. I okay. So he's he's going to try to... Um, if I parry, I have three... I have two disadvantages. I is gonna try to dodge. What's your total, Jeff? Um, nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, so that hits. It hits, and it deals uh, a regular arrow. You said, right? Yep. It deals right. ten damage. It gets on his side. You know, he's like, ah! And he's two piercing. Two, two of the damages. Oh, there's two more piercing. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Thank you. So, good about that. So that's 12. Well, that hurts. All right. Um, we'll finish this round and then we'll take a break, just so you know. Uh, so the round will finish with uh, Galleon. Just so you know. Galleon, back at you. Well, I attack the guy and I sweep the legs. <laughs> so what that means is, uh, just so you know, it's, not, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just you're going to have plus two extra damage when you... Right. So let's do that. He's going to try to parry, and he's going to do it with a disadvantage because of that. Oh, no, 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 no. We are both at the yeah, disadvantage. Even, even, even the Jessica's shot, I shouldn't have done it with a disadvantage because it was the end of the turn. Ah. All right. Okay, so 27 is my total. Actually, 28 with the plus one. Okay. What's your total? 37. Okay. So you hit him with your man. You no, 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 I didn't okay, cool. Because I'm at the disadvantage. Yeah, sure. Roll again. Phew. Yeah, so you hit him. You deal yeah. uh, you deal 10 more damage. Plus the oh, actually, 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah. Jessica, this is the second use of uh, the piercing. All right, so you hit his, his uh, leg and he screams because he was not able to move his hand faster to block it with his uh, uh, club. And as he gets hit, you hear him scream, Guys! Come help! Jess, make a perception roll. Shit. 26. Okay, let me roll mine. And... The 12, 25. You roll the 26. Okay, so you hear tables be the sound of tables falling to the ground and people rushing towards the door. And we're going to end this um, uh, first half on this. And we'll talk again in uh, 5 to 15 minutes. See you guys. Cool.